Hey everybody, so as you know, this is going to be a filler week. And uh, as usual, you know, you can always get a Geography Now mug or a t-shirt or a gym sack at uh, geographynow.com. It's not selling out if it's my merch. Anywho, this week I kind of wanted to switch it up a little bit. I haven't done one of these in a while. I kind of wanted to do something more like a thesis-based editorial expose type of video. Now, in my job, one thing I have to do is I have to look at a lot of numbers and data when it comes to making these country profile videos. And one common thread that we all know is that the world is becoming rapidly and increasingly more urban, especially as the information age and digital era has taken over and industry is becoming more autonomous. Cities are growing exponentially these days and it's estimated that there are somewhere around 600 cities around the world that have populations over 1 million. And on top of that, we have mega cities. A mega city is generally defined as any area that has an urban agglomeration over 10 million people. Now varying sources have slightly conflicting numbers, but as of 2020, it is estimated that there are somewhere around like 35 to 40 mega cities across the world. And more are expected to arise in the coming decades. And out of these mega cities, you probably know a lot of them. They're very popular. Today, Tokyo, Japan still holds the crown for being the most populated metropolitan area on earth at somewhere around 40 million people, more than the entire population of Canada. Although some people say that when they combine Shenzhen and Guangzhou together, it's a little bit more, but Whatever. Now you would think, oh yeah, these cities probably have so much going on and they're very popular and everybody's talking about them. Surprisingly, that's actually not the case for all of them. Some of these cities have huge, massive urban conglomerations. However, on a global reputation scale, for lack of a better term, they don't really rank too high. So what exactly makes a city popular? There actually is kind of like a slightly imperfect unit of measurement for these types of things. It's called the GPCI or the Global Power City Index. I have it written here. It measures cities' levels of comfort comprehensive magnetism made off of six functions, accessibility, economy, research and development, environment, livability, and cultural interaction. And that's good and all. However, I personally, on my own end, would maybe add a few more categories to that list. For example, how often does this city appear in the news? How often does it appear in media or in movies or TV shows or books or social media? What is the hype like? How often is this area promoted? And what are the advertisements like? What is the tourism flow? What is the general public recognition? Is there like an analogous trait about this city that is kind of like universally known? It could be anything like a landmark, you know, the Eiffel Tower, Paris, everybody knows that. Does this city or the country of this city have a lot of people in diaspora that put this place on spotlight? Kind of like, you know, how tons of Jamaicans in the US talk about Kingston all the time. And that's how we know about Kingston. Are there any notable events that have happened that give this country its prestige? You know, like maybe hosting a large worldwide event. Nobody really knew what Sochi was until they hosted the Winter Olympics. And finally, are there any any notable people or celebrities that have put this place on the map. I mean, clearly Ronaldo put Madeira on the map because he is definitely from there. Definitely not from Brazil. I swear he is not from Brazil. He's from Madeira. I will never survive that nightmare. Anyway, when you go down the list of mega cities, they all pretty much rank pretty high on the popularity index. And there really isn't too much to argue about because, you know, everybody's kind of heard of most of them. Mumbai with Bollywood, Shanghai with its ubiquitous financial and commercial district skyline, Paris, New York, Moscow, London. No questioning the widespread international acknowledgement of these cities. They literally make the news every hour of every single day. They're popular. But then going down the line, you start seeing, you know, some cities that are still widely known, but not as much, you know, to the international extent as their spotlight counterpart cities. Most of these are in India and China, you know, like Bangalore, Chennai, Xiamen, Chengdu, Chongqing, you know, cities like that, you know, they're not as well recognized, but I would argue they still hold a lot of weight in the popularity index, at least in contrast to the least talked about mega city. Now, when it comes to the largest city that is the least talked about, we kind of have to immediately eliminate the cities that are in global powerhouse nations, simply because the corresponding nation that they're in kind of just immediately boosts up their reputation by default. What is a good way to gauge what is a global superpower? I generally kind of like to look at the G8 or the G20 summit nations because statistically speaking, they literally are the powerhouse nations that run most of the world and its economy. They hold a lot of weight and power on a global scale. So any of the cities in these countries countries, I would say probably rank pretty high in the global popularity index, no matter what. So that means we have to take out all the cities and countries like India, China, the USA, most of Europe, even Mexico, Brazil, Argentina, Turkey, Indonesia, even South Africa. If we eliminate all the G20 summit countries, then that means there's only 11 mega cities left that we can look at. The first nine of these cities are within Africa, Cairo, Egypt, and Lagos, Nigeria. Within Asia, Bangkok, Thailand, Ho Chi Minh City, Vietnam, two in 
Pakistan, Karachi, and Lahore, Manila in the Philippines, and Tehran in Iran, and within South America, Lima, Peru, and Bogota, Colombia. And with that, I deliberately left out two of them because I believe the last final two mega cities are the least talked about in the world. But let's go over the last final nine, okay? Cairo, no question. Pyramids, everybody knows that. Lagos, come on. Powerhouse of Africa, most populous country in Africa. Nollywood, the prestige level is already through the roof. Bangkok, literally voted the most popular travel destination in like 2018, 2019, I think I forgot. It's booming in tourism. Everybody knows it. Vietnam, Ho Chi Minh. Vietnam ranks really high in the popularity scale index as well. Lots of history behind it. The Vietnam War. Ho Chi Minh, named after a notable figure that was from the Vietnam War. Now it's Pakistan, Karachi, and Lahore. I would say they rank a little less, but not that much. I mean, Karachi port is a very huge business hub, especially with shipping. Lahore, the capital of the Punjab region, one of the largest ethnic groups in the entire area. And if anything, they are right next to India, which is a powerhouse. So they kind of by default get a little bit of that neighbor prestige leftovers, even though relationally, it's not always been so good, but regionally it works in their favor. Manila, relatively easy access with flights, lots of sea travel. Again, another huge tourism spot, very widely known and recognized internationally. Huge diaspora that puts their country and cities in the limelight and uh, really good food. Iran, Tehran. Iran has been in the news a lot and Tehran being the leading city in the news for Iran. So many books and movies and TV shows about Iran. I and mean, one of my favorites being Persepolis. And of course, I mean, it was the Persian empire and a huge dent in global history. No way that place is not recognized. Bogota, Colombia, pretty high up there as well. People love Colombians. You know, there's that whole stereotype that they're all attractive. Miss Universe contests. And even though the whole Pablo Escobar thing was in Medellin, you know, by default, they get the prestige from Medellin because it's the same country. It doesn't matter if they get the cities wrong. It's like, who cares? It's all the same for us. Colombia, it works. And finally, Lima, Peru. Easy access to Cusco, one of the new seven wonders of the world, I think. Yes. Anyway, it's amazing. The Spanish they speak is easy. Huge tourism. Great business. Easy access with the sea. Culturally intact with themselves and the outside world. No question. Popular city. So that leaves us with the final two mega cities that are least talked about in the world. Now, in my speculation, taking all the factors into account and compiling as much data as I can into the mix, it seems to me that the second largest city least talked about in the world is Dhaka, Bangladesh. For one, out of all the mega cities in the world, they have the least tourism. For the past few years, they've been averaging less than 200,000 tourist visitors every single year, which is kind of a bummer because they actually have a lot of really cool, vibrant, rich cultural sites and areas to visit and see. And a lot of it is just relatively unknown to the outside world. I would argue though that they do still have a slightly higher degree of international acknowledgement than the number one spot on this list because of a few factors. For one, ease of access. It is relatively very easy to get into Bangladesh, either by sea, by air, by road, by train. They have overall better infrastructure, their GDP per capita is about five times higher and their unemployment rate is about four times lower than the number one city on this list. They have a better online and media presence. I mean, Dhaka has 1.3 million hashtag posts on Instagram, whereas the number one city only has about 480,000. And finally, I would argue that they do kind of have that rebound prestige from being attached to their incredibly popular neighbor, India. I mean, business between them is huge. There's a lot of Bengali people living in the West Bengal area of, of India. And even though it kind of gets the short under the stick with international recognition, at least it has easier access, if that kind of makes sense. So then that kind of begs the question, what is the number one spot? What is the largest city that nobody talks about? Drum roll, it would be. Kinshasa, Democratic Republic of Congo. According to the International World Tourism Organization, their peak in tourism was only at about 360,000 tourists in 2016. The city is more difficult to access. They are located inland on the Congo River. So you can pretty much only get there by plane or take an incredibly long road trip from other nations on roads that are not always well maintained. And unlike Dhaka, Kinshasa doesn't really have a spotlight powerhouse neighbor to gain rebound reputation points. They are the biggest thing going on in the area. They have to be their own main show in the middle of nowhere in the Congo jungle, which is weird because they are actually the world's largest Francophone city on earth, more than Paris. And on top of that, largest Francophone nation on earth, more than France. Back in the day, the DRC had quite a few issues. According to CIA World Factbook, economic reforms remain slow because of political instability, bureaucratic inefficiency, corruption, which also dampen international investment prospects. But things have been getting a little better. A 
transitional government was installed in 2003. After years of internal conflict, especially in the eastern Kasai region, things look a little more promising as their last president did step down after his second term and did not continue on with changing the constitution to have indefinite terms, which is kind of like a little bit of a reassuring move showing that they're kind of moving forward in the right political direction. Although he is labeled as a senator for life, so he'll still have something. At least way better than Mobutu. That guy was insane. I mean, the majority of transportation is dependent on riverways. Only a few paved highways exist and transnational travel only goes along gravel and crude earth paths. But when you go to Kinshasa, it's really interesting because it's kind of like a lot of countries, especially developing ones, it's like they kind of have one or two very main prominent metropolitan modern cities and the rest of the country is just kind of like nowhere near that level of development. I mean, Kinshasa is pretty impressive. I mean, here's some footage from other YouTubers showing that the city has massive paved boulevards, stadiums, it's clean and organized, steel and glass high-rise buildings, an opulent, beautiful layout, places to go and hang out. There is a lot of potential actually. It's just that it kind of needs to be organized a little better. According to CIA World Factbook, again, only about half the city has access to regular electricity. And yeah, Kinshasa can be kind of expensive. I mean, groceries on average cost just as much, if not more than they cost in Europe, because you know, a lot of it is imported. One good trend that has been happening though is that a lot of Congolese diaspora have been moving back to this city in an attempt to kind of make it better. They're investing their time and energy and resources and education in their homeland. A lot more residential plots have been built up, especially the chic new opulent Gombe district and the diaspora Congolese people are buying up these properties and uh, I mean it's kind of bougie and there's a lot of new places that they're building that you can check out if you visit. Here are some of them. I'll just make a huge long montage on screen so that you guys can see it. Yeah I mean I I, I, I kind of want to go there. I want to check it out. So there you go. That's my little uh, thesis statement with support claims concluding that Kinshasa is officially the world's largest city that nobody talks about and hopefully this video will have you talking about it. Stay cool, stay tuned.